There are so many forgotten Terraria mods that have never updated that you need to play. In this video, we're gonna be checking out some of the best ones. So let's hop in game and reminisce and check these out. We are here on Team Mod Loader 1.3, checking out forgotten Terraria mods that probably are not gonna update. Now 1.3 in terms of mods, man, this is the modding era for Terraria as we can see there's so many mods. Obviously 1.3 to 1.4 was literally years in between. 1.3 so of course this is the great modding era and with tmod 1.4 being a thing a lot of mods will just probably never update or they're slowly attempting to update but it's taking forever but yeah this is what we're gonna do in the meantime we're gonna hop in game check out a couple of my favorites probably like one or two maybe three bigger mods so let's do it this already feels insanely nostalgic damn look at all these worlds i got bro we're in the world and the first mod we're looking at, one of my favorites, is the Ancients Awaken mod. And as we can see from the world, look at that. We got all kinds of binds. We got a volcano over here. We got, I don't even know what this is. This might be past my time, honestly. We got something in the sky. We got the little swamp biome over here. We got some more stuff in the sky. There's all kinds of things everywhere. So let's get to it. Let's start by visiting this volcano. Now, Ancients Awaken was one of those mods I had in my giant mod packs well, this music kind of scary the ambience and music here is scary bro but yeah it was a giant mod pack you'd have in any mod pack and do i have boss checklists on i don't think i have boss checklists on but let's just pull up regular bosses and as you can see we pulled that up this mod's got a lot of bosses which i really liked but yeah we got this volcano biome and at the top looks like there's a little house up here let's head on down to the bottom now i don't remember if you fight a boss specifically down in the volcano i know you fight a boss in the biome but down here in the volcano specifically i don't remember what are these things can we break this fire buster the sounds of the egg breaking echoes through the volcano hold up maybe we do fight something down here let's go ahead and break three of them the magic number Boom. The brood mother. Yo. The brood mother. That's sick. Okay, so there's a boss down here. I don't remember if this is past my time last time I played the mod or if this was exactly during the time. It's been literally years at this point, so I don't remember. Music is bumping though. Boss looks great. The sprite is amazing. Speak about amazing things, I have the Toma Greater Manipulation. We're in the era where the juice mod is actually a thing. So I could grab bosses and manipulate them just like old times. But the brood mother, you look great, man. I always like the sprites from Ancient Awaken. But what else do we got here in terms of biomes and stuff? Let's do the, the major ones. This one over here was pretty iconic because look at this. You come over here, straight shadows, bro. You cannot see anything in this biome. Now, I believe this is a marsh biome or swamp biome. And it was pretty unique at the time. It could be a little bit annoying. It'd just be annoying to traverse anything else like this. But it was insanely unique when I first seen this mod and came into this biome. We come to the middle, though. And I think there's a boss we're supposed to fight here. Oh, we got to go underwater. There's altars and stuff. Abyss altars? Okay. Dude, it is dark down here. There's no torch god, so I don't got to worry about, uh, you know, placing too many torches. But I'm assuming the same thing. We got to break the little orbs, and we bring in a boss. You hear hissing, but it scuttles away into the fog. What does that even mean? Does it need to be nighttime? Maybe it needs to be nighttime. Let's make it nighttime. Oh, look at that. So when it's nighttime... You can actually see here. Dude, I completely forgot about that. That's uh, kind of a cool mechanic. I messed with it. All right, let's break all this stuff. The Hydra has awoken. Oh, damn. There's actually a lot of Hydra bosses in Terraria mods. This might be one of the earlier iterations, though. I have no idea because I know QWERTY's has one. I know Fargo's mod has one. Don't know the timeline. He looks kind of goofy looking, though. <laughs> but it's still such a sick idea just for a Hydra to be in Terraria. But yeah, we're not here to see the whole entire boss fight as much as I want to maybe we could do separate videos in the future but we're here to kind of just skip through everything i might have to pull up the wiki honestly just to see what we should do next i think we go here i think we go here hold up i might remember this area now okay so this biome is like something worm king this is i feel like this is newer i feel like i don't remember fighting this boss who disturbs me from my coin counting i'm busy that boy got money you brought my favorite dish now if you don't mind look at this greed sick now apparently he gets even cooler when he gets into a uh, hard mode or not hard mode post mode like he looks even sicker now the question is can i grab him and drag him around look at this i miss being able to do something like this but if we uh break his head do we get like to fight one of his other heads because you see he has like 
15 different heads. Kind of cool. They're all like every single ore in the game. Such a sick looking boss. I kind of want to see the, the post moon look on. Even if it's uh, AI isn't like insane, like most uh, worm bosses, I still just like this idea. It just seems like such a sick idea. As we can see here though, my boy's a little bit longer. He got some of the ores from the mod and not just the vanilla game. It's a cool idea. I mess with it. I mess that the boss sort of evolves in post uh, moon lord. But what other crazy biomes do we have here? This one is like a terror biome. There ain't really much in here but enemies. I don't even know what this is. Lucifer the pit lord. Who are you? Who am I? This dude says skedaddle. And then the top right, I, I remember these areas up here. The top right, I remember. Let me go ahead and put the lighting back to normal here so things look good. Strange machine. Don't remember how to activate the strange machine, but this was this was a mod I feel like that was ahead of its time, bro. This mod was ahead of its time. It had the biomes, the bosses, the items, everything. And I miss it dearly. I really do miss it dearly because it was definitely probably a top five, top 10 cherry content mod during Team Auto to 1.3. So what we're going to do now is just bring in bosses that look cool. Hopefully I could spawn them in. They'll probably despawn some of them. But look at this. It had a desert boss. My boy, the Din. What else you got? We had mushroom bosses. Hold up. We got to go to a mushroom biome. We actually had multiple mushroom bosses. Not the not only the feudal fungus, but there, there's a there's this one. The mushroom. What the hell is his name? Mushroom monarch. Come on. Mushroom themed bosses. I need those. And then we had the feudal fungus, which is like a stronger version of the mushroom monarch i think and then there was a toad where is he truffle toad look at him my boy looks amazing what other beautiful things are there my arch nemesis my og arch nemesis i'll link the video maybe towards the end but if you guys know about raja rabbit this is one of my og arch nemesis we ran into him in a playthrough he was a hard fight and he just became my arch nemesis in that playthrough we were having battles back and forth this boy got that music playing. He said, I forgive you for every rabbit you killed, but in return, I want you to take my place as their champion, their protector. Damn. I don't know, Raja. That's a lot to take on, bro. Look at that. And my boy ascends. Raja rabbit speech warms your heart. You no longer have the will to harm rabbits. Do him proud. I can't even kill the rabbits. It won't even let me. <laughs> it actually won't let me kill them. I was going to kill them as a joke. It won't let me. But yeah, there's that version. And then he got a champion version, which looks even scarier. Look how much health he has. Insane amount of health. This mod I'm looking at the wiki right now legitimately has like 10, 12 post moon lord bosses, which is insane. And then there's like super ancient bosses, which is like past post moon lord. But let's take a look at some of these. Hopefully I can summon them in. We saw one of them with the worm king. Uh, let's bring in Yamada if possible. I don't know which one. Let's do this one. Yamada no Orochi. Oh my God. <laughs> This is insanity, bro. This is sick. Now, this is what I expected when I heard Hydra. The animations are actually really good. I'm telling you, this mod was past its time, bro. I can't even insta-kill it. I gotta leave the world. Let's see the other one, though. There's another one. A little bit smaller. After that, I want to check out Akuma and Oni Akuma. So, we got Akuma, which is one of my favorite looking, uh, you know, dragon bosses. Look at him, bro. He's so sick looking. Plain and simple. There ain't really much to talk about. And then we got Oni akuma which is a blue version i don't think this dude existed when i did a run through of the mod also looks cool kind of reminds me of that uh one avatar episode with zuko and ang like one of the last ones where they're messing with the dragons what is this soul of fury Oh, I love he coming in again. And then we have zero. Let's bring in zero. So there's zero protocol and then there's regular zero. So this is the dude that was in the, the top right. So this dude is more on the uh, mechanical side. We have to break all his uh, cannons here and then he pops out himself. But he got some phases. You got to keep on uh, breaking his stuff to fight him in the middle. Now, I want to see if killing him spawns in zero protocol. Because I think killing uh, Akuma spawned in Oni Akuma. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Zero protocol. And I really like how they have the, the little boss titles at the top. Makes it a little bit more cinematic. What the heck? You guys see that? Am I cursed? I might be cursed. Last but not least, let's bring in the Super Ancients. We got to bring in the Super Ancients because I really want to see them myself too. So it's Shen Doragon. Which one has more health? This one has 800,000 is what it looks like. And this one has a million. The zeros are really small for me, so I can't tell. Shen Doragon. Look at him. That boy flapping them wings. But this is one of the bosses where you had to have that damage and that armor from the mod to really fight 
a beast like this. Yo, I like that how he turns. He's like Two-Face, bro. When he turns left, he's got the red side. And then when he turns right, he's got the blue side. That's sick. Cool little detail. All right, come here. Let me beat you up, bro. Oh, he's summoning the grips. And I ain't talking about pistols or nothing. Nah, he got the grips out. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. My boy said, I got phase two. Have you forgotten about our last battles? Shoot. Yeah, low key. It'll be years since our last battles. And then now we got Shendragon, the awakened version. Oh, my God. My boy, he following the rule of having a giant laser beam on a super boss. But yeah, ju just sick, man. Just is straight up nostalgia checking Ancients Awaken out. Yo, hold up. The boys coming in? Ash and Haraka? Haruka? That boss fight low key might be a little bit more unique than some modern day Terraria content mods. I'm not gonna lie to you. But that was Ancients Awaken. We really only checked out like the bosses and stuff. We didn't really even check out like all the enemies. There's tons of enemies. Of course, the weapons, the gear are also really good from the mod too. Like, come on, man. There, there's not much to say. If you've never gotten a chance to play Ancients Awaken, like you just got into T Mod Loader or modded Terraria, you might have to go back and just play old mod loader it's possible it's very easy to do uh thanks to steam so i recommend doing it if you get the chance or want to check out some of these older mods but now that we checked that one out let's check out another this next mod actually might be one of the more forgotten content tutorial mods one that i personally really enjoyed and that is beyond the forgotten ages for some reason it says forgotten memories so hopefully i got the name right btfa that's what it was called uh is there any new structures i really don't remember like i said literally been years a lot of years since this mod but btfa man this was one of those uh smaller content mods that you would throw into a mod pack to just fill it out a little bit and as we can see it's got some goodies in here let's go ahead let's bring in some uh enemies test sprite looks pretty good there was like a whole wood event i think i remember here and as we can see we got all these enemies we got palm trees living wood mortar all of these look amazing sprite wise but yeah there was a whole wood event and then in this wood event there was one big boy in it ghastly ant this dude looks sick terraria spriting modded spriting back in the day bro during this era they were on it they were on it i guess the spriters just back during this time were more talented no offense to modern day spriters but just look at some of these sprites this is an insane sprite for just a uh, little boss you fight during a tree invasion but moving on past that shoot i gotta bring up the wiki because i don't even remember the boss order so that little invasion we just did there's a pre-hard mode version and then there's a hard mode version this dude is the hard mode version's little mini boss but this dude is the pre-hard mode version's mini boss so that's cool that you know it has different phases like there's a hard mode one there's a pre-hard mode one kind of like the old one's army how it kind of progresses the further you get into the game's progression the first boss in this mod though from the forum page is a pre-wall of flesh boss and it is this dude right here acheron acheron don't know how to pronounce his name what is this dude he's like a swole ass seashell i don't know <laughs> this fight looks kind of crazy though all these dudes dashing at you you can't kill them though the little lost souls but let's do some damage to my boy and he brings out even more he got barriers oh he's a wisp is that what he's supposed to be our right, next boss here is a nighttime boss uh early hard mode arterius now this one i remember i remember this dude for sure let's bring him in that scream i think this is the first time i've ever heard that scream used on a terraria boss or enemy it was low-key terrifying as we can see the sprite itself is also low-key terrifying i'm gonna take off my world shaper soul so we can see what it looks like without it glowing red like that i guess it kind of looks cooler glowing red honestly <laughs> but let's do some damage i remember this boss definitely look a lot different a majority of the sprites in this upgraded and i remember this boss looking a little bit different but this is still terrifying as i remember let's uh finish off arterius and then the next boss from this mod is a pre-mech boss this one i do also remember being in the mod last time i played it and it is the titan rock boom the titan rock just a giant floating rock with an eye but my boy got projectiles though hold up <laughs> he was on the projectile game before uh, the empress light 
started running the projectile game yeah let, let's just kill him off here we don't really need to see all his attacks it, it's a sick mod i'm glad to see it again i really wish that it stayed updated to modern versions but what can you do man things happen what can you do damn this worm spazzing cosmo wyvern this mod also got a, a pyromaniac danny devito and some dude named the warper interesting set of people they have here look at some of these sprites bro some of these sprites from uh, older mods you know maybe some of them are from video games i know a lot of mod developers like to do that back in the day where they would just you know use sprites from other games so if any of those are like from other games i just don't know i like the music from this mod is bumping i'm just spawning in all the random enemies and then let's go ahead and just grab some like random items from the mod i got nothing to say about the sprites from the mod from both of these mods both of the sprites are amazing oh my god we got the old flails the beautiful old flails who who misses them not me because uh the new flails are way better <laughs> But it's still nostalgic seeing the old flares. But yeah, that was two mods here that are pretty much forgotten about. Probably not updating, at least from what I know. Not like I Googled it or anything. It's just been years and I've heard nothing about them. So I'm just assuming at this point, they're probably not updating. But yeah, you guys in the comments, let me know some mods that are stuck in Tmod Loader 1.3 that you want me to check out for this little series. I was going to do a bunch in one video, but there's so many now that I got to sit there and look at it that like this legit has to be its own whole series shout out all the mod developers that used to work on these mods you inspired greatness you contributed to greatness if y'all liked the video make sure to subscribe leave a like turn on the notification bells all the good stuff i'll be seeing y'all in the next video